Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the Weekly Contest 266, Wow's of All Substring. So this one's a little bit mathy, even though it might not look like at the beginning, uh, but not that much. Um, but yeah, I took this up in about two minutes and a half. Um, I thought I did okay time here. Um, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this contest, and we you want people to chat about uh, contest problems in general. Um, but yeah, so this is my solution, but but the, the and I'll go back to it, don't worry. But the way to think about this is maybe sometimes backwards. Um, in this case, you, you're trying to figure out, okay, how many vowels are in the total or the substrings, right? And it's, it's, um, it's, it's tempting to kind of enumerate every substring like we did in Q1, actually, even. Um, where, but however, n is equal to 10 to the fifth, so that, that won't work because there are n choose two number of substrings, uh, which is n square-ish, uh, or, you know, n square over two uh, number of substrings, which is going to be way too much for you to brute force, right? Um, so then the, the idea here is about thinking backwards. It's that, okay, given every character, let's say in this case A, how many substrings will it appear in, right? Because for every substring that it appears in, it will, it will appear once in the final answer, right? So for example, this first A, it, it, it appears in um, one substring and then the second substring and then three substring. So this first A actually appears in three substrings. Um, and therefore, it appears three times and contributes three times to the N. Um, this A in the back as well, right? Um, so the way that you can actually really, uh, visualize it in a very greedy way, let's take this one, for example, um, is that, okay, well, if this is not a wow, then it doesn't matter, right? But let's say we go to the one in the middle, A. Well, how many substrings are there? Well, you ask yourself how many flexibilities there are, how many combinations of substrings there is, and the idea is that, okay, well, there, given this A, there are two ways you can go, right? You could, um, you could expand the, the, you could expand the word to the left, or you could expand the word to the right, right? So that means that, um, you know, in a way, uh, in a way naive way, you could think about this as A, B, A, A, B, A, uh, S-A-B-A, uh, something like this, right? Oops. Um, and then on the right side, you get, you imagine this A, oops, yeah, A-S-B, A-S-B-O, oh, oops. And that's only if you look at one side, and of course, it's actually going to be a combination of these left and, and the right in that, um, you know, for example, you can have this thing. Um, you can have this, for example, right? So you can have a combination of left. So then the idea is that, okay, on the left side, it could be any one of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven uh, ways on the left side. And on the right side, you also have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, that's just a coincidence. But seven on the right side. So between the combination of how far to go on the left and how far to go on the right, um, then this is going to, you got 49 different ways that this shows up. Um, and then you do that for every ca every value, wow, in the word, and you sum it all up. And that's basically the idea behind this very short code. Um, and if you just look at this code, it might not necessarily make sense. But yeah, but this is just the number of um, ways that we can choose the left side of the index. And this is the number of ways to choose the right side of the index. Um, and then you just kind of combine them together. And that's how I got this one very quickly. This is obviously going to be linear time because we just go through the way once. So that's going to be good enough. Um, yeah. That's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. So linear time, constant space, and I will see you later. Um, you can watch me sub live during the contest. Next. That was a bad problem for me, but okay, let's go. People already, five people already finished it, so I'm really behind. But okay, let's see. Substring or sub sequence.
Hmm. Well, people got this way fast. So to the left. Something like this. Okay, so that was pretty okay. Uh yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially you like contest problems or even if you just like to just hang out um see you later stay good stay healthy to good mental health and take care bye bye